So I'm kind of wanting to get into something, right? So tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning, the much anticipated trip to New York is going to happen. I'm scared. I'm nervous. I've never been on a plane before. I don't know what the fuck is going to happen. I don't know if we're going to get up in the air and then kaboom, we turn into the Challenger and we all die. Or if it's going to be beautiful and we make it and we take lots of sunset pictures and post them on Instagram for everybody to see. I don't know. I really don't know what's going to happen, so I'm not anticipating anything in particular. I'm just going to go with it, and we're going to see what happens. So, we are almost done packing. I've got all my essentials. I've got my boots. I've got my hat, all my good stuff. I've got like four chargers in here, because I just don't know what's going to happen. They told me, I was reading some stuff, some, you know, some whatever's, uh, some articles about flying and what to what to bring and the extra stuff you need to have one thing it said is underwear toothbrushes and phone chargers all right so fuck pants and church says fuck we're walking around naked cowboy style give me a guitar we're gonna go to town and uh fucking Times square i'm good with that i really am um why were we naked on the plane i don't know but Anywho, I'm anticipating it to be fun, exciting. I'm getting married. I'm doing something that I never thought I'd do again. I just got divorced like three years ago, and I was like, ah, never doing this again. But I'm fucking doing it again because I really don't know how to explain it. First go around was all blissful and then fun. It went, ah, and just turned into hell. But this one, it's been two years. Not yet have we had an argument We've had disagreements, but we've come together as a team and worked shit out. And that was the deciding factor for me. We work shit out. We don't fuck off. We don't let shit build up. If I fuck up, I go, hey, I fucked up. Help me out. She'll go, you fucked up. I mean, I don't know. And then we're done with it. And we're good. We talk it out. We're good. If she fucks up. I said, I'm taking your debit card away from you because you spent $75 at Target yesterday in the dollar section. But it was the dollar section. You spent $75, so you bought 75 things, and I only seen four of them. Where the fuck are the rest of them at? No? Okay, 10 for So, uh, we are less than 24 hours away from our trip to New York. I'm excited. I cannot wait. Old redneck boy from Alabama... Going all the way to the big city in New York. Look here. I even got my fancy New York shirt. <whistles> Boy, let me tell you something. I, I don't know. It says it's going to be balls cold. I like the cold weather, but they say upstate New York and or the area that we're going to be traveling to is a different kind of cold. So I can't wait to freeze my testicles off. I even brought a toboggan. Or a beanie, I'm sorry. I called a toboggan. Got What do you call it? I call it a toboggan. That's what I've always been called. It's not a sled. It's a fucking hat that covers your ears up and keeps your ears warm. Anywho. All right, then. Uh, we're going to pick it up tomorrow morning. First thing, bright and early. I can't freaking wait. I'm excited. You should be excited because you get to watch old redneck boy from Alabama go all the way to New York. You get to watch me either blow up in a plane or post a lot of sunset and sunrise pictures on Instagram. One of the two, something's going to happen, uh, so we're going to find out.